join kids hat family hey tia what are you doing i'm meeting the new school principal tomorrow so just putting my things in order oh you want to impress him is it I'm not sure about that, but I don't want to disappoint him either. Maybe you should tell him that you're the best in class. And also tell him that you're a champion swimmer and always come first in all the sports activities. And that you always win. all the debates and elocutions tofu i can't do that not all of that is true yes but most of it is oh boy you're acting like the miller the miller who is that come let me tell you a story Rumpel Stiltskin Once upon a time the king called the village miller to the court The miller went there with a mind to impress the king by any means possible And so when he was presented in front of the king he lied that his daughter who was an excellent spinner could spin gold from straw Oh that's impressive I order you to bring her to the castle tomorrow and she will spin gold for me The miller goes back home and tells his daughter what he'd done. Oh no! What have you done, father? I cannot spin gold. I don't think anyone can. I know, and I am sorry, my child, but there is no way out of it now. You must go to the court tomorrow and spin the best you can. Ah. Uh, oh, uh, yes, father. And so the girl went to the court the next day. Your father tells me that you can spin gold out of straw. In that room there is bale of straw. I give you till tomorrow morning. You must spin it into gold by then or you will lose your life. The miller's daughter had no choice but to do as told. She went into the room and locked herself in. As the night wore on, She didn't know what to do. There was no way she could spin gold. Afraid that her father's lie would get her punished by the king, she started crying. <laughs> Just then, a strange little man appeared in the room. I know what bothers you. <laughs> Do you? Yes, and I can help you. I can spin the straw into gold for you. Oh, oh please, do it then. I beg of you. What will you give me in return? Uh, I can give you this necklace of mine. Okay. I will spin for you. 
And so the little man got to the spinning wheel and started spinning. Within an hour he had converted all the straw into gold. He then took the necklace from the miller's daughter and went out of the window. The next morning the king came into the room. Is my gold ready? Yes, your majesty. Very good. Now I have another test for you. The castle's barn is full of straw. You will spin all that straw into gold till tomorrow morning. The miller's daughter was taken to the barn. Once alone, she was again surrounded by worries. She didn't know what to do. Soon it was night. Afraid of the king's reaction, she started crying. <laughs> You've got a barn full of straw for yourself today. The girl looked up to see the strange man from the night before. Yes, and the king needs it to be spun into gold by tomorrow morning. Hmm, what will you give me in exchange for it now? Uh, I don't have much, but I can, I can give you this ring off my finger. The man took the ring from her and started spinning the straw into gold. The next morning, when the king saw the shining gold, his greed increased. Very well, the castle has yet another barn, bigger than this one. If you value your life, you will spin all the straw in it into gold by tomorrow morning. If you succeed, I will marry you and make you the queen. And if you fail, off with your head, I'll have. Once again, the king had left. The girl was taken into another barn. It was bigger than any room that the girl had ever seen and so full of straws. She broke down as soon as the king's men had left. She knew she was surely doomed now. When night fell, the little man appeared again. Need my help again, is it? Yes, please. Please spin the straw into gold and save me. Well, I could do that. But what will you give me now? I have nothing left to give you now. You could give it to me when you have it. Yes, I will. Tell me, what can I give you? Your first born child. 
The girl gasped but thought who knows what may happen in the future it was wiser to save her present so she agreed Okay I will give you my first born child The strange man happily got to spinning the straw When the king came in the next morning the whole barn was full of glistening gold Happy he announced his marriage with the miller's daughter Soon a year passed and the new queen gave birth to a baby boy The boy was only a day old when the strange little man appeared in her room once again. It is time to settle your debt. The boy is mine. Oh no. Can't you forget this debt? Never. Please. There has to be some way. I will give you gold, fortunes, whatever you want. I only want the boy, but I will give you 3 days to guess my name. If at the end of the 3rd day you can guess it right, I will leave you and this boy alone. If you can't, the boy will be mine. As soon as the man had left her room, the queen called her trusted soldier and ordered him to gather every name he can find in the kingdom. The soldier set on his mission immediately. The next evening, he came and gave the queen a list of names. When night fell, the little man visited the queen again. Do you know my name? Uh, is it James or Jack? Well, is it Richard or Kenny? She continued with all the names she knew. and the names that the soldier had brought back from the village no 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 these are not my names but the little man said no to every name that is not my name I leave you now with 2 days left to find what it is. The queen sent her man out yet again to go to the farthest corners of the kingdom. Till then she read all the books she could find hoping that one of them might give her the man's name. The next night when the man came back she gave him the names her soldier had brought back and the ones she had collected from the books Ah uh, is your name Casper Sheepshanks Tommin None of them I leave you again. I will come back tomorrow to take away the boy because you won't be able to guess my name. Once again the queen implored the soldier to go out in the kingdom 
and find her a name. The next evening, before the little man would come, the soldier returned to the queen with some news. My lady, alas, I could not find any new names in the kingdom and its neighbors. However, last night, after I left the castle, I came upon a clearing in the forest where I saw a strange little man danced around the fire. He sang a strange song too. She can search the land, she can search the sky. But a name like mine, she will never come by. Rumple still skin, that's me. The moment the queen heard the name, she knew it was the one. She happily waited for the strange man to come visit her. Have you found my name yet? Oh no! I can only wonder what it can be. Is it Apple Tree? Myra? Or maybe Rumpelstiltskin? How can that be? This is some sort of sorcery. How did you know my name? The moment the strange man heard his name, he became very angry. He shouted and stomped around the room. In his anger, he stomped so hard that there became a big hole in the ground and he fell into it towards his death. I wonder if the Queen ever told her father about all this. We will never know, but we do know that trying to impress people may get us into big trouble. Oh yes, that lesson I've learned today and I don't think I will ever forget it. Thanks Tia for this wonderful story. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.